Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations everybody. If the video looks or sounds different it's because this is the first video I'm recording on my brand new laptop. Yeah! Watch, by the time we upload this, you'll be like, I've had this laptop for three years. By the time this, this uploads, I'll be like, I've already done a few Let's Plays on this yeah. laptop. So this should just give you a nice little taste of when we're recording this. Yeah. Yeah, I upgraded my basically eight-year-old laptop because it was on the fritz and about to die. And yeah, new one's working great. I love it so far. And it should run the game a bit more smoothly. Uh, here's hoping. So... Cool. Everything seems to be working. We are still on the stolen turnabout. We're on the part four, oh, we're on though. The trial. We're on the trial. Oh yeah. Marty okay. doesn't like trials, and she's playing the wrong game. <laughs> it's literally called trials and tribulations. It's fine. I like the tribulations, just not the trials. I, the trials are sometimes boring because it's like, wait, even though I should be punished for this, can I say something else? They're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's October 14th, 941 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby, number four. Hey, Nick. What is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Why don't you know this, Nick? <sighs> They're having Detective Atme's trial today. Detective Atme? They say they're going to try him as mask to mask. Already? That was fast. Boy, I'd love to see Master Mask's trial. I know. By the way, where's Pearls? Oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. I know you don't like me. Pearls has really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that incident last year. Please, don't ignore me! You're being weird and mumbling. <laughs> oh, Mr. Delight, good morning! No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I killed someone. Uh... Come on, don't be silly. W wait a sec! You don't mean... You're the murderer? No, no! I'm just a poor thief! No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't really be... This is like... Remember Kellum? from <laughs> yes. Fire Emblem Awakening? This is like if he decided to act out for not being seen. <laughs> Just a smidge. Now let's see. According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heists. Do you think that there's a connection between the thief and the murder, Nick? It's possible. But today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just take our time like always. I'm afraid that's not an option. Why? He's not telling us why! <laughs> October 14th, 10 a.m. sharp. District Court, court what, number 6. What, does Phoenix right now have a spa day? And he's like, I have to be done with this trial in one hour <laughs> so I can run and get my mud scrubbed. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Wright spa day. Oh, a coffee. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. You're ready? Preparation is the last refuge of the week. Just say you're ready, prosecution. <laughs> okay, settle down, everyone. Let's begin with your op opening statement, Mr. Godot. Ugh, he's got the judge in the palm of his hands. Yet again. Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. Cool. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Godot. Ha. Huh. Then you need to get out more, Your Honor. No, you need to stop being poetic. <laughs> and weird. Life is war. But that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. That's all my statement means. You understand now, right? No. <laughs> yes. Well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. <laughs> the victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Security. Dude, 
His body was found Wait, in a safe. Is a that his tongue hanging out, or are those the biggest lips like a human being could ever have? Um, that's his tongue in between two of the biggest okay. lips you could ever have. Okay, because it looks like he's like, <gasps> Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> you <see that>? <laughs> <laughs> He'd have like three lips then. Or, or a double chin. <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> it looks weird. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. However, the time of death was estimated as 1 a.m. of the previous day. And that's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. Meow! That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Very well then, Mr. Godot, please call your first witness. He's like, no witnesses needed, your <laughs> honor. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any um, trial. <laughs> let's count and figure out if that's true or not. But the first one is always the best. Why don't you stop after the first one? <laughs> um, Mr. Godot, your witness... Are you thinking Godot should be like, oh, sup, dudes? I'm no, Godot. No, no. Okay, but can you imagine Godot going to, like, the doctors where it's like, okay, Godot, we're gonna, like, take your blood pressure now. And it's just like, <gasps> like, through the roof because he has so much coffee. They're like, okay, you really need, need to, to cut, cut down on, on your coffee. It's like, okay, only 17 cups in a trial. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. Let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, has to say for himself. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, does the defense have any objections? Yeah, I want to hear from a new witness. It may be a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. Oh, wow. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. Oh, wow. She put a lot of trust in me back then. Trust. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Cool. Ha! Huh. You've got guts, Trey. No, you've got guts. All right, then, Mr. Ron Delight, please take the coffee. stand. <laughs> He's like, hi. 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 You did it, didn't you? Yes. That's it? What? Uh, no, 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 no! That's not true! Hmm. For a moment there, I thought we'd set the record for the shortest trial, trial ever. ever. <laughs> Delight already looks plenty guilty with the face he's making. If only that, that was like Von Karma's trial. It's, you did it, didn't you? Yes. Yes! Finish! <laughs> Spy! <laughs> just runs out. He peels out in the parking lot. That's hilarious. <laughs> and once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Ha. Huh. Very well. I mean, Phoenix Wright kind of did the similar thing where he's just like, Oh, the, the, the I, choo, 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 I choo, ate choo. the necklace. I <laughs> ate it. It's like, there could be poison in it, you idiot. <laughs> now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Bullard, why did you go to KB Security? Because I had other stuff. <laughs> well, I... It's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go on. Well, you have to testify, so... <laughs> now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. Cool. Talk, boy. My visit to KB Security. That evening, around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. That's literally exactly the same as the testimony he gave us when he was in the, uh, detention center. Like, yeah. the exact word. We know what happened, they don't. Well, That's why they're asking. But they didn't give a, he, he didn't give us any new information. Which is so annoying. So we're gonna have to press him. This isn't new, Marty. <laughs> I know, but still! 1am, the exact time the murder took place. The week. <laughs> Are you quite finished? <laughs> no, but he has his coffee and he doesn't have the snazzy music. Yeah, he doesn't always need the snazzy music. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. Ha! It's bitter today, too. Just like my destiny. Oh, like you're gonna lose. You never know from the way he's chugging it down. Some people like bitter. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. I don't understand anybody who can enjoy coffee. Me like, either. the taste of it. I like tea. I also don't really understand how you can enjoy tea. Tea, though, I like bitter. Versus, like... You oh, know how so do I. You know how there's but... the ones where it's like, it's peach cinnamon tea, and I'm like, why are you drinking this? Just drink juice. That sounds... <laughs> <laughs> well, they need the caffeine. It put caffeine in juice. <laughs> that's called, like, Monster. Okay, that's or true. Red Bull. That's true. <laughs> and those are gross. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, he went to KB Security. Yep. Uh, that's fine. 1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, that's what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. Er, uh, no. Actually, I'm not really sure. My watch was slow and my internal clock was off. 1 a.m., that's the exact time the victim, Mr. Bullard, was murdered, So correct? he was there a little before that. It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, that's I, I take it, Godot. It's like, it's like, hey, Godot, want to come over like 1 a.m.? Yeah, it's a coffee date. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> like, uh, no, I was kind of thinking, like, we could get it on. It's like, oh, I want a coffee. coffee. Oh. <laughs> he leaves the <in> disgust. <laughs> that would be funny. It's it like, what do you ordered want? you there? What do you want in a relationship, Godot? Coffee. <laughs> it's like, why don't you just date coffee? That's illegal. Ever. <laughs> He's like, sorry, I checked. That's illegal unless you move to Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Why Missouri? <laughs> Isn't that the place where you can, like, legally marry the cheeseburger? <laughs> I don't. Or is that, like, Ma Alabama or something? Everyone who lives in Missouri is like, boo! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Most of the people who watch this are from Finland, anyways. Yeah, they, they probably don't even like America. Who it knows? ordered you there? <laughs> okay, people from <laughs> Finland don't hate America. Well, but the, what I'm saying is they wouldn't know either. Oh. They wouldn't know. It's like, oh, they don't would... you know that, like, the people in oh, this everybody... one Irish province uh, are like this? I'm like, no, I don't. I didn't know that, actually. Oh, yeah, everybody knows that you can marry cheeseburgers in Missouri. <laughs> Maybe everybody. only in a few counties. <laughs> There's that Sheldon comic about it, though. Oh, yeah. That's the only reason I bring Sheldon. it up. <laughs> Anyways, it was the first time I got a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Wow. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters, then? Oh, of course! They'd say things like, steal this, or take that. <laughs> Why don't you save those for later, Mr. Delight? Please don't say more! <laughs> now, what should I do? What should do I do? <laughs> what should do I do? <laughs> what should do do I? <laughs> well, Marty, what should do we um, do? <laughs> here's the thing. If we press harder, he's gonna be like, And I stole this! And, and I, I need this! this, and this, and this. And this. <laughs> so, I feel like we probably should press harder, but I also am afraid to. Okay. That's bad. That's the problem! <laughs> okay, doggone it. Alright, so, full disclosure, for some reason on my laptop, in order to use save states, I have to hold the FN key as well. Oh! Okay, so we have to go through the whole thing again? I think so. Well, we didn't get too far yeah, We through. didn't. We were spending too much time talking about Godot's coffee date. Yeah, well, it's fine. We'll just, like... We'll cut all this out, no yet. worries. There we go. FN shift F1. Okay. okay. Uh, so you say press harder? Press harder! So what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring $50,000. Money, eh? A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh, but wait, wait! I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm, an important point indeed. Witness, oh, let's have that added to your testimony. Cool. Yes, sir. Ha. A muddy mud skipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. A muddy mud skipper. Muddy the Muds? That sounds like a kid's book. The blackmail thread... the thread... <laughs> the thread of blackmail didn't, didn't scare, scare me. Him. I wasn't going to... It wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. Oh, uh, that's a filthy lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> blackmail will cause trouble. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmail letter said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask to mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bully didn't have anything on me. He didn't? But literally, who, was it Larry that was- no, it wasn't Larry. Someone said he's like, oh, he's kind of mean. Yeah, who Larry- was it? Um, Ron. Ron? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Larry's the one who's like, oh yeah, he was great! He didn't even care if I, like, slacked off all the time. Because <laughs> he's just like, well, if you slack off, I guess I'll slack off your pay. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. Oh, wow. How so sweet. that's why Miss Delight didn't believe he was mask to mask. That's why I knew they were just hollow frets. Hmm. So why'd you go after it, then? <laughs> I've been working at a KB Security for a year. Wait, what? You used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? Yes, that's right. A security chief? You? 
And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge? A perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Um, hmm. but he had nothing... Like, literally, everyone is like, it was out of the blue. And, you know, it could yeah. be one of those where it's like, hey, yo, I'm laying off people from... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. Oh. Maybe I should change the suspect or subject. <laughs> I thought it said life after, um, or a lie after being fired. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What should we say? I mean, if we don't say anything, it'll just be like, what? Well! Why did you press him? <laughs> penalty. Yeah. Or actually, no, penalty meter is not showing, so we won't get penalized I mean, with our choice. Life after being fired, obviously, is stealing stuff, so we need to ask why he was fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can. <laughs> why are you fired, dude? Why were you fired? Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Like, it could be legit. W well, the world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. What? That's not a problem. Uh, okay, then I take it back. <laughs> Defendant, please answer the question. I, well, I needed money. You needed money? He um, fired him well, from the see, job. Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough, so I stole data from the company. Oh, I was right! Okay! Come again? KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found out, and I was fired immediately. Okay, well, I- WAH! I wish I had never asked that. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the deal. Everything he's done already, stealing-wise, like, he's going to jail regardless. It's just, like, how big of a jail thing are you going to? Is it grand larceny, or is it just petty theft? Yeah. I don't think it's petty theft. No. That's like a, that would be a huge scandal if it's like, blah, 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 stole, Rattavite stole private data that like, are, like yeah. we trusted and sold it to well, who knows they, okay, what? Here's the the thing. Taliban they can know said, about us now. <laughs> they had said that after they fired him, like the company was going really downhill, which probably if he had sold that data yeah, right. anywhere, people would be like, oh, well, don't well, trust KB security. I guess I know, I guess I know now that <laughs> they, stole the, they stole our the data. Frogs. <laughs> like, this is very random. No. Showers with frogs? <laughs> I'm saying, like, if they know random private data about people, then, like, that would be, like, a huge scandal on everyone. It could be, like, credit card numbers and stuff. <laughs> I just picked something a little more lighthearted. <laughs> what? <laughs> we have our video title. <laughs> Did you know that Kate Bullard showers with frogs? <laughs> <laughs> I was somehow able to keep it a secret. It made it, it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. He sure told you. So you admit that you stole data from your company, is that correct? Is this just like an yes. instant game over? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a very important fact. Please add it to your testimony. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse, crashed and blew up. But it's still intact! It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. Well, we picked the right thing if it added stuff. He fired me for selling company secrets, but Desi doesn't know about that. Well, she does now! She's <laughs> sitting We just in there. announced it to the whole court! Why would you do something like that? Cause I'm dumb. Well, for Desi's hobby, what else? You're weird. Wasting money, huh? It's not a waste! So, Miss Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even Maya to think seriously about couples. <laughs> Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Enough mm. of all the shipping. <laughs> it's not even shipping, it's just like, dumb. <laughs> Most of this case is based on dumb stuff that like, if you just talk, it's not a problem. Mm-hmm. Or, like, if it is, you work it out. Like, that's the point Let's of being married. Let's try to get some more info from this. The info. What were you being blackmailed about anyways? Um, we've already been through this dialogue before. Why can't we just skip it? I don't know. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, shoot. That was more new stuff. Whoops. I just skipped uh, all the new documents. It's fine. It's fine. The fact it, that Ron it, it's was just like, I always did steal the company data. It's like, this something's weird. The fact that Ron was stealing company data, I wonder if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. Not especially. especially. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he would. 
<laughs> That's a great sentence. Um. Nah, I guess not. But didn't you just say he might? Always avoid unpleasant or inconvenient facts. That's one of my rules. Don't try and get out of this by acting all cool. <laughs> it just restarts. Oh, hey, we could do that again then. Oh yeah. Let's let's do that. Okay, so I knew where his where his office was. Yeah. Okay. We'll start skipping and then we'll just like. You used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. A security chief, you. Yeah. And yet you were fired without a uh, reason. <laughs> Perfect motive for murder, huh? Hmm. hmm. Oh, whoops. Which one? Fire no, me for that one. selling stuff. So we've got all these statements now. Weren't we supposed to press there, though? Like, ordered you there? It ordered you there. It's the first time I got the blackmail letter like that. <laughs> Mr. Delight, please shut up about that. <laughs> oh. We got all the right statements the first time. Oh. We didn't have to press that, I guess. We could say not especially. <laughs> no, we, we don't even get that option anymore. That's sad. I do have the safe state we could rewind to if we want. But then we have to do all this stuff, so I'm like, eh. Alright. I'm fine with either. If you want to do I, it, I, I, There might be humorous dialogue. Oh, that's right. Uh, life after being fired. What did you do after being fired from KB Security? I spent a lot of time looking for work, but then I decided I wanted to start something myself. Not good! This is going for bad tours! <laughs> so I started looking at books, TV, and movies, learning all I could about masked men. M masked men? Hold it! <laughs> so, so you wanted to try drawing a comic, right? About masked men? No, no, that's not right. I wanted to become... No. <laughs> Your Honor, let's move along, shall we? But you asked the question. You're being quite odd today, Mr. Wright. Way to bring the spinning buzz saw one notch closer to your own <laughs> neck, Ace Attorney. <laughs> hmm, there wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that was worth going. That was worth going. <laughs> yeah. Good evening around the, the time of okay. the day. You were fired, blah blah blah. I needed money. I sold <laughs> it. I sold it. Ah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Fired me for company secrets, but Desi doesn't know about that. Alright. So these are the statements we have. Do you see where we should present something? Uh, not that one. Not that one. That might be one of them. Uh, the next one. He knew. Yep. Desi doesn't know about that. Um! We don't really have any proof that she does. We don't have any does. proof that she doesn't, so I think it's the other. You think it's the third statement? Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. So, what reason would he have to be afraid of his Well, his identity. Out? And if his identity goes out, then people could be like, he's the one who stole all this stuff, and his basically his money gets cut off, right? And he'd go to jail, and there's yeah. all these things. Not only that, but because he's the puppet, essentially, to whoever's higher up that's sending him this stuff, this other guy gets away scot-free. Okay, so you're thinking... This one? Yeah, well, maybe. That doesn't really... Sure. What's the other one? There's another piece of paper. Oh, that's the, the buzzer, buzzer record. record. And then we got the camera the data. buzzer record. He keeps his treasured memories in a toolbox. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um... There's also profiles. Oh, we could... do profiles, actually. That could really work. Hey guys, I'm a nice guy. Well, if you fired him, and, like, the, if the information got out about him, then that could be a real problem if he tries to get work anywhere. So it could be the dude, um, Kane Bullard, that looks like Reggie. But it could be, um, Could be Reggie. Could be Reggie. It could be, um, at me, if that's the guy who's blackmailing him, but we don't know. We don't know that. It could be, it could be the mask to mask profile and be like, oh, by the- His identity- since he steals valuable works of art. Well, because here's the thing. When we pressed him on that, he where like, he's like, yeah, like he was like blackmailing me about like the whole mask to mask, be, me being mask to mask. He's like, I didn't care if people knew about that. He's like, I don't care what people think of me. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess, but that's also like, you're, that's your money. Um, basically, I kind of know what I need to say. I don't know which evidence to pick for it. 
Basically, I want to prove that it would cause him trouble in some way. Right. I think the way being with his company, his previous company, and Reggie. He... So you want to try Reggie then? Yeah. Okay. And... And... Protect. Nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm fine. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? I think it's inappropriate that you're calling the victim Reggie, even though his name is Kane Bullard. Oh, but I thought he looked like... Your jokes aren't very funny, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled. <laughs> I don't think that won me any points of Nintendo of America. <laughs> yeah, I will never get hired. <laughs> like, you thought Reggie looked like that guy who died in Ace Attorney 3 <laughs> too. <laughs> We're not hiring you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that in an interview. I would work for Nintendo if it wasn't, like, almost in Canada. Or in Canada. Have, like, you mean Nintendo of America? Nintendo of America, yes. <laughs> Japan is not almost in, in Canada. Canada. <laughs> no, if you have to work for Nintendo in Japan, like you need to be fluent in Japanese. Yeah. And I am no longer anywhere near that point. Um. Yeah, you haven't even like come evidence. close really to back to the evidence. Oh. Is it just his wallet? Because <laughs> he would lose money. Because <laughs> he would lose money, or is it like because of the? <laughs> is it his wallet's the... empty. He has to give his money up. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like because he he had that key card? But here's somehow. the problem, Marty. You could say, oh, but that would like cost him so much money if the blackmail letter, like, uh, like if the blackmail went yeah. through. But he had to pay fifty thousand dollars anyways. He was also like, I wasn't gonna pay. Yeah, but why would he go there? It would threaten, exactly. It would threaten the livelihood of Desi's shopping spree. <laughs> it's true, it would. <laughs> I don't know if that would be the person to press, though, if it's Desi. Hates criminals and cowards. Oh! Well, if she finds out about the blackmail, and he's like, <laughs> why are you involved with blackmail? <laughs> that that might be a problem, yeah. Okay. Never mind, yeah. That makes sense. Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Okay, well, fine. Huh? What does it? I think you must have been scared, very scared, of having a certain person find out your secret. Oh, uh, Desi, why don't you go for a nice, long, speedy motorcycle ride at <laughs> one in the morning? <laughs> okay, see you a later. A certain person. In the Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. Ah! But, but I... But listen to me, my Desi, she's... Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Ah, Gado. Yes, we know. It was all your wife's fault. What? What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Oh. Hmm. No! Everything is falling neatly into place for him! D don't talk about my Desi like that! Or you'll be sorry! Desi's like, yeah, husband. <laughs> well, it seems that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. What are you talking about? Francisca proved otherwise. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Clearly there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole data for his wife, and he killed to protect his secret. A family man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Um... Ugh. What happened at the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. I would just love if this is, like, a case where it's just like, you can't win! <laughs> He's guilty! He's guilty! <laughs> I mean, we had that a little bit in the second game, but it was like, who cares? Everybody wins ever anyway. Except the, the guy who was guilty. Well, yeah, except for the guy who was guilty. But I'm saying, like, it, it, you technically wouldn't have won. Yeah, it's but, true. Yeah. At the CEO's office. Oh, yeah. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. A weird shadow? It's a person. It looks like at me. <laughs> Suddenly, I was hit in the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. Oh, Actually, it was Larry Butts. <laughs> he also has spiky hair. <laughs> I mean, if that had happened, 
<laughs> what a twist that would be. <laughs> Wait, I could just imagine. He gets dumped from the girl who's like, oh, let's beat him up. And then he gets knocked out and he's like, I have to take my wrench out of somebody. Somebody's got yeah! it! And then, like, he just starts, like, hitting things on not realizing that he's just, like, beating up the dude. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is the girlfriend telling him this in the CEO's room? I don't think <laughs> no! so. No! <laughs> I'm saying he, like, walks back. No, you know how there's, like... <laughs> It's like Anakin Skywalker, where he, he, <laughs> with the he same finds people. His, with the same people. <laughs> but they were right next to the, the, his mom. He, today. No, he was. They were not. He went on like a long motorcycle sand ride to get there. If you remember, he went on a long motorcycle sand ride to see his mom. She died in front of him, and then the sand people were rah, 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 like t going towards the tent. And then he was like, thought, Oh, I thought it was, he saw his mom, and he's like, Ugh! And then and like, then went like right <laughs> now. And then he went and slaughtered the I am people. almost positive that did not I haven't happen. seen that movie in a few years. I haven't seen the Anakin part in many years. Yeah, you would watch the movie and just cut all the Anakin parts out. It's so much more enjoyable if you just watch the Obi-Wan and Mace Windu parts. What about the part in the factory where, like, Padme is about to get chopped up, and it's exciting and nah. tense? Nope. No? Obi Obi Wan and Mace Windu aren't in that. <laughs> if I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there, dead. With the biggest lips you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that's one weird thing. I don't think the murder weapon is ever discussed in this case. And also, I'm pretty sure in the Japanese version, he, he didn't die from blunt trauma to the head. He died from being strangled. And I guess they changed and they it were in America. Like, that can't happen. <laughs> nope. He was he was hit on the head by something. I don't think it's well, important to know, know what, what it was. was but he <laughs> got hit. I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. <laughs> he said that Mask to Mask struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Atmi turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Ha! No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I really was attacked. I got the we'll bruises. find out if you say what what if what you say is true or not during the cross examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. At the CEO's office. I enter the office, there's a suspicious person Hi. there. Well, shadow. A shadow. Who was this suspicious shadow? Shadow. If there was a thousand of me and even one knew, I'd tell you. Trust me. He's dodging all of your que- or His dodging of all of your questions is not helping us win this case. Okay, then how was the victim Mr. Bullard at that time? What do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I don't know! F forget it. <laughs> Suddenly I was hit on the forehead after that I remember being a bit dazed. Your forehead? Yes, I was hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. I, it was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. It's like he, uh, okay, he knocked on the door and then used the key card, so maybe Cain Bullard was just like, surprise, <laughs> just like punched him in the face. <laughs> sure. R Reggie wouldn't do that. He's no. a very upstanding kind of guy. <laughs> do you remember anything about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was a fast and powerful hit, so I think I was a little dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Delight even grasped what you were saying. Yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Maybe that would knock some sense back into him. If I had been wearing that, I would have been killed. That? Could you please clarify oh, what you're referring yeah. to? Oh, you know, my Why, my mask to mask costume, of course! W wait just a moment! Mask to mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as Mask to Mask! And then, uh... I descended upon to the office of the CEO of KB Security. Well, I mean, that- WHAT?! <laughs> okay, but what if- 
Cain Bullard's like, dude, we need to discuss this thing. And then he sees a literal masked dude who's been wanted for however long stealing stuff. Of course he's gonna punch his eyes out. He wouldn't know it's him. But he sent the blackmail letter to him being like, if you don't want your identity revealed. So he probably already knew. Oh. Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry, Ooh. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait, that's not right. Um, you know how something, sometimes things just slip your mind? Ha! My sixth cup of coffee is staring up at me coldly. It's not cold, it's hot! If it's your sixth cup, <laughs> it hasn't been it, sitting there long. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask to mask costume. Why were you dressed up as Mask Damask? Also, how would that flimsy mask have prevented him from dying? Is it's it like metal. someone. Oh, it looks like a plastic mask. Now, here, let's check the court record. Yeah. Uh, profiles. See the bolts? Oh. Yeah, that's like a metal mask. Oh. Well, that's nice. Why? Because I'm Mask Damask, of course. W what are you talking about? Mask Damask's trial is being held next door. Ah, uh, yes, I guess so. Anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the mask to mask issue. Huh. So I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around in that cape. That's why it took a lot longer than I'd expected. To get took there? Took a lot longer? What is he talking about? Press him. Um, what do you mean by it took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? <laughs> Back up a second! <laughs> yes? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Um, well, yeah. Inconceivable! <laughs> <laughs> if, even if this gets an instant game over, <laughs> I would want this. Why? Just... Why? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? <laughs> Kato's just like, <laughs> Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? What's with this music? Uh, <laughs> what? The answer is simple. When they take them off. I always, I always thought the first time playing he was gonna say, when they're dirty. I was like, <laughs> yup, when they're dirty. <laughs> As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hid the body because he's the murderer? Ha! Huh. So you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Uh, oh, well, yes. yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? <laughs> Witness, make sure you add this to the testimony. Yes, sir. I can't believe he wasn't just like, <laughs> you're guilty. Uh-oh, looks like a storm front is moving over the Fairweather Judge. I panicked and hid the body in the safe. It took about ten minutes. Ten minutes?! <laughs> Are you just lollygagging, turning it, the safe wheel? It's like wheel? a 700 digit combination. <laughs> and he had to open it twice because his cape got snagged. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why did you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well, because it wouldn't fit in a drawer. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find this corpse, they'll think I did it! Ha! Huh. I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm, that certainly makes more sense. Eh. Hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? And spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances- OH! Hey Nick, if you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you press the- I thought he was gonna say press. Why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? That's I it. I'll take a look at the court record and present okay. some evidence. I think he pressed the button at this point. I think he was like, uh-oh, I better call security because this thing happened. Press the button. Larry's dumb and isn't there. <laughs> so he's like, well, I can't call the police because they'll think I killed him. 
So, let me hide the body. I think that's what happened. Hmm. We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in his testimony, either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have to draw it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. So we're in an interesting situation, because this is the last testimony we had for a while, I think. So I'm wondering if we should end it, like, right after presenting the evidence. Because you're right, it is the buzzer. Okay. How much... Because we're, we're also going to cut a lot of this out. Uh, for, nah, we're not cutting out, like, ten whole minutes, though, so... Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bullard is lying there dead. I panicked. I hid the body in the safe. It took about ten minutes. Yeah. Because we have, on record, the buzzer went off at 102. Yeah. That's Your Honor, could you please take a look at this record in the next episode? Really? <laughs> That's dumb. Okay, well, uh, my thing is this kind of starts a long thing. Okay. thing. So we can either stop now, or we can stop in the middle of it. Mm. And I feel like this is a better spot. Okay, to stop. fine. We'll stop. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry for that. Bit, a little bit of a cliffhanger there. Tune in next time, though. Things are going to get more exciting. I think we're going to be getting down to the bottom of this case. Thanks. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.